everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a makeup tutorial for you guys. I am so in love with this makeup look. I'm going to be using some new ColourPop eyeshadows that I got for Christmas. And I'm also going to be using um, a ColourPop lipstick on my lips today. So I'm really excited to be doing this video. So yeah, that's all I have to say. If you guys want to see how I did my makeup today, then please keep watching. So the first thing I already did is my brows. And what I went ahead and used is my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Auburn. I finally decided to get one of these and it's amazing. I love it so much. So now I'm going to get started with the eyeshadows. I'm going to go ahead and take Creme Brulee and uh, Frappe, which is these two shades here for my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. This is Creme Brulee and this is Frappe. Frappe is just a little bit darker than Creme Brulee. I'm going to be mixing both and applying this into my crease and I need a mirror. I don't know what I'm doing. With my E40 blending brush from Sigma, I'm going to blend this everywhere. The next shadow I'm going to be taking is from Colourpop. This one is in the shade Hanky Panky and it's a really pretty cool tone. <coughs> matte shade. I'm going to be placing this in the crease as well. Now with my Mary Kay crease brush, is that what it is? Eye crease brush, yes. I'm going to be placing um, Bandit. Oh my god, I am so obsessed with this eyeshadow. If you want to buy any ColourPop eyeshadows, I highly recommend Bandit. It's just such a beautiful burnt brown shade it's so gorgeous it's what i look for on an eyeshadow it's amazing and i feel like this crease brush is so good at applying the shade anyways i'm placing this all into the crease and the outer v so now again taking my e40 blending brush i'm just going to be blending this out a little bit more Taking the same Mary Kay crease brush, I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Mittens, also from ColourPop, which is so gorgeous. This is another highly recommendable eyeshadow that I have for you. It's gorgeous. I hope you guys can see that. I'm going to be taking just a little bit of this and placing it in the outer V. I'm not going to bring it in or anything. It's just for the outer V, just to have definition. Now again, I'm just going to take my E40 and blend out any harsh lines. I realize now that I want to do more of a halo effect to my eyes, so I'm going to be adding the same two shades, um, Bandit and Mittens, on the inner part of my eyes as well. So I'm going to take some of Bandit, and I'm going to be using this pencil brush from Morphe, the M169. Ooh, just put some on my nose. I'm going to place it right here. Now I'm taking mittens. And then kind of bring it a little bit in the crease, just connect the two sides. And then again, blend those out with the E40. center I'm going to be using this super sock shadow as well from ColourPop in the shade lovely I'm going to be taking my finger because it's the best way I feel to apply the shimmer um, eyeshadows and I'm going to be starting at the top and sliding down just like that so again take my finger swirl it around a little bit start at the top and swipe down. I feel like you get the most payoff by doing that because if you press with these, I feel like you won't apply all of the eyeshadow on your finger on there. So if you swipe down, you can get it all on there. Now I'm going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills Duo um, brush that came with my Traveler's palette. I'm just going to blend the outer parts to make sure there's no harsh lines. Last shade I'm going to use is Bitten from Makeup Geek which is this shade right here, my all-time favorite shade from Make It Geek. I feel like every look that I do, I need bitten in, in my, in like, in it, in my life. I was going to say my life, but I do need it in my life. Now 
After that, I went ahead and cleaned my under eyes to make sure there's no fallout under there. Then I'm going to take my NYC liquid eyeliner. This eyeliner is amazing. I love it so much. I don't use it to make my wings because I do feel like it's a little bit more hard because I'm so used to using my gel. But I do love it to start my line, like put it all over my eyelid. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with this. And after that, I'm taking my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. And I'm going to be doing my wing with this one. After my eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead and take the Falsies Push-Up Drama Mascara from Maybelline. I'm going to be applying this on my lashes. Before I start my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and take my Max Fix Plus and I'm going to be spraying my face. Now I'm going to be applying my false lashes um, while this um, Fix Plus sinks in. Sinks in. I don't know what lashes these are from, and I'm not actually a huge fan of them, but it's the only ones that I have now besides my super dramatic other ones that I got. So these will work. Okay, so next I'm going to be applying my foundation. I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 105 Natural Beige. I love this foundation. You guys already know. I'm obsessed. I'm going to be taking some like that on the palm of my hand. And I'm going to be taking my G6 Morphe brush and stipple this all over my face. Now I'm going to conceal my under eyes. I'm going to take my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Concealer in the shade Fair to Light. And then I'm going to top it off with the Magic Lumi Highlighter. And this is in the shade Light. I'm going to take my Real Techniques sponge and just blend this out real quick. Now I'm taking my favorite contour kit of all time. I'm going to be taking the Shade and Light contour kit from Kat Von D. I'm going to be taking this banana shade first and applying this under my eyes to set my under eye concealer. Now taking this middle shade right here, I'm going to be contouring using this little brush right here. You guys can use any brush you have. This palette is super pigmented. Like, you guys just need to barely put your brush in here, tap off the, top, tap off the excess, and then apply. Trust me. It's not like the Anastasia Contour Kit, which I feel like with that one, I always have to build up my bronzer and stuff with it, which is not a bad thing, but if you want something quick, you need this because like you only need to put a little bit and you have enough. Then I'm gonna take this darker shade on the edge and I'm just gonna be applying a little bit right here, and blending it out. I always try to be careful with this shade because I can easily go a little too dark. But I do like it to add some definition, so I just apply it right here close to the hairline. For blush, I'm going to be taking Luminoso from Milani.
For my highlight, I'm going to be taking my Smashbox, what is it? I forgot, Masterclass palette. And I'm going to be using this shimmer shade. The only reason I'm using it is because I know you can buy this highlight individually. It's in the shade Shimmer. I'm going to be using my Morphe M504 brush to apply this on the high ends of my cheekbones. For my under eyes, I'm first going to be taking creme brulee and frappe. Then I'm going to be using bandit again. Then I'm going to be taking mittens. And last but not least, I'm taking some of bitten. Then I'm going to take some of the lovely eyeshadow. Then I'm going to apply some gel liner. Then I'm just going to add the same mascara I used for the top to my bottom lashes. Today's lip color is going to be a ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick. It's in the shade Chili Chili. One of my favorite favorite ones. Okay guys, after that, I am done with this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more of my videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!